the earth's surface is not the same everywhere the 71% of the earth's surface is covered with water and the rest 29% is the land the land surface of the earth is also not same everywhere these various features formed on the earth are termed as landforms it has hills valleys mountains and plateaus and these can be found under the sea too mountains a mountain is a conical landmass much higher than its surrounding area mountains which occur in a line or chain are known as range and may stretch several hundreds of kilometers these are the large landforms which rise up to 900 meters or more above the sea level these mountains cover approximately 1/4 of the total land on the earth all mountains have steep sloping sides and a high point known as a peak or summit a series or chain of mountains is called a mountain range young mountains have pointed peaks and old mountains have rounded peaks mountains that are not very high are called hills as the himalayas and the alps have higher slopes and conical peaks we know that they are young mountains the aravalli hills and the appalachian mountains have lower slopes and rounded peaks hence they are old mountains at times mountains have a series of parallel ranges that run for hundreds of miles the andes mountains and the rocky mountains are two examples of parallel mountain ranges the transport system is not well developed due to the uneven terrain in the mountains mountains are very important mountains are a storehouse of water several glaciers are found on high mountains these become sources of rivers ideal for irrigation and generating electricity at lower height the river valleys and terraces provide fertile land for cultivation of crops the mountain slopes have thick forests which provide several products like gum and raisin they are a great tourist attraction too the adventure sports like skiing river rafting and paragliding are a great attraction for all tourists plateaus a plateau is a flat table land reasonably high with steep slopes on one or more sides the largest plateau in the world is the tibetan plateau some other famous plateaus are deccan plateau india chota nagpur plateau india colorado plateau north america bolivian plateau south america most plateaus are dry on their leeward sides due to their high altitude the climate is cold and the growing season for crops is short several rivers flow through plateau regions narrow valleys are formed when river water cuts through plateaus one example of such valley is the grand canyon of the colorado river the plateaus are a storehouse of minerals iron ore copper gold diamonds and several other minerals are found here rivers flowing down the slopes of plateaus form waterfalls which help in generating hydroelectricity some plateaus are made up of lava and provide black soil which is extremely fertile as plateaus can support both farming and mining activities several people settle here these are also great tourist attractions plains low lying flat regions with the gentle slopes are called plains certain plains are extremely flat while others are undulating most of the plains are formed by rivers and their tributaries and are very important as the rivers flow down the slopes of mountains and plateaus they erode materials and carry deposits like sand and silt along the valleys these deposits are called alluvium and form the most fertile plains of the world plains are the most densely populated areas in the world the fertile soil availability of water not only provides land for cultivation 
but also make it easy to build houses and roads. This also promotes trade. Some of these plains have been cradles of ancient civilizations. Even today, a large chunk of world's population is settled in these areas. Rivers Rivers are natural channels carrying water from the mountains and the rain water. It starts as a small stream in the mountains and joins other rivers to flow into the big inland lake, sea or ocean. During its journey, it passes through three stages, upper course, middle course and lower course. In its upper course, it originates in the mountains and gushes down at high speed, cutting through a narrow channel in the mountains. Waterfalls, rapids, valleys and canyons are formed at this stage. In the middle course, the river enters the plains. The river valley becomes wider and its speed decreases and forms meanders. The volume of water increases as tributaries or other rivers join it. In the lower course, the speed of the river is very slow and the river deposits silt near its mouth. Here a triangle-shaped structure is made called delta. Deserts Deserts are large areas of land with little precipitation and therefore life is tough there. They are either covered by sand or snow. The Sahara Desert in Africa, the Thar Desert in India are examples of hot deserts. Antarctica and the Atacama Desert in South America are examples of cold deserts. Most of the hot deserts are located on the western sides of continents and the leeward side of mountains. They have a dry and hot climate. Hot deserts have very hot days and very cold nights. There are frequent dust storms and the land is covered with sand. The hills of sand are called dunes. Due to little or no rainfall, vegetation is scarce. An oasis is a natural feature in deserts. Some crops and plants are grown in an oasis. Importance of deserts Even though deserts are not suitable for human survival, these are beneficial in many ways. The dry condition of deserts helps promote the formation and concentration of some important minerals such as gypsum, borates, nitrates, potassium, etc. These deserts are also home to vast varieties of plants and animals who have adapted to their harsh habitats. Oil deposits are also found under many deserts. Some deserts have been developed as tourist centers nowadays. Influence of Landforms on Human Life Different landforms support different kinds of plant and animal life. The livelihood of people living in each landform is also different. Life in mountainous areas is tougher than in the plain. 
The slopes are rocky and don't support many crops. Certain plantations and orchards do flourish wherever soil is fertile. Plateau regions have several minerals and precious stones. Mining is an important activity here. Plain and valley have rich fertile soil. Agriculture flourishes in these areas. Mountain and plateaus often experience extreme weather conditions like storms, earthquakes and landslides. In plains, floods and droughts are common. Let us summarize. Mountains are large landforms. Young mountains have higher slopes and pointed peaks. Old mountains have rounded peaks and lower slopes. Mountains are the source of rivers and are rich in natural resources. Plateaus are flat lands rising sharply. Many rivers flow through them. Many towns and cities are located in the plains. Rivers are natural streams of water journeying from mountains through plains to the delta. Silt deposits in plains making them rich in minerals for agriculture. Delta is the triangular shaped structure where the river enters the sea. Deserts are large, hot or cold barren areas receiving very little or no rain.